Hi, this is with regard to diabetes and meat consumption or animal protein consumption. And I've stated uh, in uh, my diabetes book, Diabetes No More, uh, about uh, how uh, the, the a human body, while processing uh, meat, will require a huge insulin response, which is much, much bigger uh, than uh, in response to eating half a pound of sugar. And um, this can be many, you know, many, to many people very surprising. Uh, and I want to explain that uh, in greater detail because it is something that has uh, you know, not been very, un very much understood by lay people and also by medical uh, professionals. However, we know that there is a lot of scientific research now that uh, clearly shows that when uh, we eat meat on a regular basis, uh, the risk of developing diabetes is shooting up uh, dramatically. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, there is a more recent study done by the National Institute of Cancer which has shown that uh, regular meat eating increases the risk of dying uh, by 20% among you know, people who uh, you know, regularly consume uh, meat uh, and that is from all causes, including cancer, heart disease, and diabetes. So yes, uh, meat eating c can uh, contribute to increased uh, you know, rates of diabetes. And uh, I've always you know, uh, talked about how uh, meat eating uh, directly leads to diabetes. Um, and uh, in my books, I've uh, mentioned that and I want to be very careful uh, the way I say that. That's why I'm going to read the passage uh, taken from uh, my book. If you eat concentrated protein foods such as meat or chicken, your body requires much insulin to synthesize proteins from the amino acids derived from these foods. According to research, the stimulation of protein synthesis is a classic action of insulin. Loss of the stimulatory effect of insulin on protein synthesis would reduce growth and result in weight loss, which are hallmarks of diabetes. To make certain that the amino acids derived from the protein meal are synthesized into proteins, the pancreas has to secrete insulin. In other words, the more protein you eat, the more insulin your body needs to make, thus increasing the chances of insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes. Accordingly, eating a normal sized steak forces your pancreas to secrete more insulin than it would need to produce in response to eating 12 times the amount of sugar contained in one can of soda. In addition to that, if you also eat potatoes, a sweet dessert, and drink a soda along with your meal, like most Americans do, you can expect to further increase the insulin resistance. Currently, diabetes is the fastest growing epidemic in America, and it is easy to see why. The effect of insulin on protein metabolism is complex and it involves changes in both the synthesis and degradation of proteins. If protein intake is excessive, insulin secretion increase, insulin secretions increase to help with its degradation. Protein synthesis and the control of carbohydrate and fat, fat metabolism have now been linked in unexpected ways and many of the same signaling systems utilized by insulin to control glucose metabolism, for example, have been found to be involved in the control of protein synthesis as well. The pro bottom line is that excessive intake of protein is a direct cause of insulin resistance and may lead to the onset of type 2 diabetes. Uh, this is very important and uh, my own experience uh, with uh, diabetics, or, uh, diabetics around the world is that by having them discontinue eating animal proteins and that includes chicken, fish, eggs, uh, regular meat uh, and cheese and milk particularly, 
uh, they have reversed their diabetes within a matter of six to eight weeks. So it really shows that uh, yeah, the, the insulin spiking uh, you know, occurrence that uh, happens after eating meat, not directly and immediately, uh, that it's not that the insulin, uh, you know, the, the, the blood sugar will go up after eating protein, but uh, the long-term metabolic effect of uh, insulin re you know, requirement is uh, going up so dramatically that eventually the body will shut, or the cells in the body will shut the doors to insulin. The cells will no longer allow insulin to transport sugar to the cells, which can cause the side effects so often uh, noticed uh, with diabetes, such as blindness and uh, loss of uh, functions, uh, loss of limbs, uh, amputations that result from from that. So I uh, heartily uh, you know, you recommend that uh, you know, to take this information very seriously if you are diabetic or, or suffer from pre-diabetes to be very uh, you know, cautious about overindulging in animal uh, protein uh, products uh, so that you can reduce uh, you know, the, the amount of insulin required to process uh, these uh, proteins to synthesize amino acids from the ingested proteins.